Okay, so Bakugo is one of the characters that actually got changed quite a lot in this patch, and there's quite a lot of changes. I'm not going to go over all of them, because a lot of them are very small. Like, there's a ton of changes on his regular attack string, but I can show you what they actually achieve. A lot of people say that his combos have been completely nerfed, because yes, he can no longer cancel his um, grab into his charged quirk one, but uh, here's some pretty awesome combos, which I'll show you later. So, a few of the notable, ch notable changes are, obviously, as I just showed there, he can no longer cancel his grab into the quirk one, so that was nerfed. Um, they also made it so there's more recovery on his Tilquirk one, which makes sense to me because, you know, I don't see Bakugo being like a Zona character because a lot of the time people just run around and like do this and now he actually has to wait quite a lot. Like there's a lot of recovery here. I'm holding down the block button. He has to stand there for quite a while before he can block. And like that involves like, you know, running around as well. So you can't just be like spamming all these like so often as a lot of people like to do online, just run around and spam these as much as they can. So now it's a bit more of a normalized thing. It's a very good tool still for Bakugo something that he can throw around just you know break the neutral and still very powerful just less crazy <laughs> okay and there was a few changes to his attack string and the other big changes was actually to his quirk one not only the fact that he can't cancel it from his grab but also it's changed in like a ton of ways that i'm not going to read them all out Basically, it does some more damage, it like knocks them slightly different, like it'll knock them away or towards you or high in the air, depending on where it hits them. So like that one, if it hits behind them, it'll hit them towards you, and like that kind of stuff. If it's right on top of them, they'll get launched very high into the air. Um, it does more damage, it actually goes further than it did before, so it'll hit from about here. So it has a lot larger of a hitbox as well, and I think it's slightly faster, I don't remember. But what's really good about it is, I'll show you here. Okay, unless I mess up. <laughs> there we go. My opponent, uh, even if they have recovery on, that is a true combo if you time it correctly. It can be a little bit tricky. Like there, I messed it up. But you have to do it like kind of like just after the knee hits. There we go. And that actually works. And as you can see, because they launched so close, like towards you, you can actually combo off of it. So that lets him get some interesting combos that are like this. Oops. Nope. So you have to do it kind of later than you would expect, but not too late or else it just completely misses. And then after they get launched towards you, you can just do a regular attack string. And then go into this. and get something like that. Like 10,000 damage for a single dash cancel is pretty amazing. Okay, so I've grabbed some combo supports and I'm just gonna quickly show you guys some kind of combos that you can do with all of these buffs. And it kind of really changes his combo paths. And the main thing is that he can now combo off of his uh, charge tilt quirk, his charge quirk one meterlessly. Um, well, good example, but uh, he can do this. And actually get a combo. And I'll show you some examples of me doing those combos right now.